Ainsworth funneled it out. Raul. Miller. Kick. And McKenzie counts for this one away. King strong. Rockcliffe, Boak. Boak gets it back for the one, two, three. And getting there late, but got there big time in the end was Georgiadis. So there's a pressure on Mitch to replicate that, but he can kick straight. Kicking is one of his tricks. And he slots his first ever goal in AFL footy. So Westhoff doing it to give Lysette a rest. No mark this time. Modlop, crumb, run, kick, goal, superb. Good nice. vision. Sidestep, absolutely. Brody caught. Good pressure. Oh, breaking through the tackles, Connor Rosie hands it to Marshall, within range, struck it well, struck it beautifully. So they haven't played their absolute best and they're only two goals down. Rockliffe's had plenty of it as well in this opening term. Bug out. Clever. <laughs> you can't outsmart the old Fox. Gray hands it to Ebert with ease. Training drill stuff. Gray held Collins this time. Yeah, well done, Collins. Just held front position. Robbie Gray couldn't do anything about it. Well, Lysette's stalking this, and he just called. Butters in, and Marshall in the pocket. And this is kickable by his standards. Bombing away until then. We tried to hit the spot for Day's big leap. Greenwood nearly. Swallow, yes! Two in a row. Goes and retrieves it, backs himself in, and he pumps it inside 50. Gets plenty on it and holding. Or oh, Modlop plays on it was Marshall's ball. He had to kick it. Fortune favoured the brave there as a reward. And Ebert is away in a paddock. He's got Rosie short. Rosie's got Marshall in the pocket. Brilliant turn. He mesmerised them with the turn, and Marshall stayed free because of it. Greenwood. Cleary. Got a handball away. Gray tries to keep it running. Barrel front on. Hartlett knows he's got Burton. Made him wait for it. Fair Burton pepper. sold them beautifully. And Ebert in the pocket. Burton rolled it off the deck. That was clever. Butters that was pokes clever. it. Absolutely. Cool. Showed some class there. Amon, good handball from Ebert as well. Hit him lace out on the run. Ball picked in Motloff territory. Right in his wheelhouse, this kind of ball. Gave it to Connor Rosie, and he is Picasso with a brush. Had a metre on Bowes. Pye said he went. So he goes to Westhoff. Dizzy working hard, Port Adelaide. You can just see a lot of tongues dragging uh, or hanging out in the Gold Coast team. Hartlett blast that. Plenty on it. And it might be home. Lacocious didn't touch it. Puts it in the Westhoff direction. Crashed it down and Power Pepper is off. Little one, two. Houston all the way to Motlop. Back in front of Power Pepper and into the sit. He took the contact, gave to Gray, and he bent it around to Ebert. <laughs> Unselfish piece of perfection. Okay, out the back. This is the moment. Ben Ainsworth. Open goal, being hunted down, gets the kick away and slams it home. And that's a really unfortunate situation for Hart that who needs a decent run. Yeah, not great news run. at all for Port Adelaide. He, he's just jogged off the ground. Didn't, wasn't in an enormous amount of distress, but uh, held his quad and uh, an obvious injury. Only assessed for 10 seconds. Power Pepper now with an issue. Shoulder or elbow? Jared, you're the physiotherapist. I'd be going for the shoulder, Dwayne. Could be both, but uh, normally when you hold your elbow, it's your shoulder, but... And he's talking about lateral movement in his knee, so... Hartlett, Ebert and Power Pepper, all with injury issues. Weller, missed it. Rosie, good drop step from Rockcliffe. Dersma, spear pass. Georgiatis has had a pretty good game. And he strolls through. To the half. Met hard by Swallow. And maybe a little high. Just oh, ran past. Yeah. Well, he went past the ball. Yeah. Always wants to go, even though he looks like he might stop. Hard collision. And was it a high collision? 
It was very brave going back with the ball. I understand Boat coming in remonstrating, but there was nothing untoward about that contest. All the way forward from him, West Off is their second ruckman. All this in the absence of Charlie Dixon. And with each win more important than ever before in this shortened season,